Yo, what's going on YouTube? So thank you guys for tuning in to the channel. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to tackle one of the largest garden pests that you could potentially find in your garden, right? If left unattended, it would devour through all your tomatoes, and pepper plants, your eggplants, anything, almost anything with leaves, right? So I'm going to show you guys tonight how we deal with those pests so that they don't destroy the rest of your garden, all of your hard work, all right? So you guys stay tuned and we're going to tackle that in just a moment. So welcome back. So like I said, in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to tackle the dreaded hornworm, right? That thing, for today, there will be nothing. There will be nothing. There, it'll, there will be not a single worm in sight. Tomorrow, they'll be about that big. <laughs> about that big. Uh, ask anybody that's seen them. If you haven't seen them yourself, you ask anybody. That's about how it goes. You go from nothing to something that's about as long as my finger, right? So today, or tonight... I'm going to go on a hunt for some wascally hornworms, all right? And all I'm going to use, and all I'm going to use is my handy dandy UV light. And I'm going to show you how this thing picks up the hornworms at night and it kind of illuminates them so that you can find them, you can get them off, off your plants and you can kill them before, or feed them to your chickens or whatever you want to do before they run ravaging through your, through your, through your vegetable garden. All right, so let's go. Let's take. Let's. let's I'm gonna show you how this thing is beautiful. I'll show you. Let, let's go. Okay, guys. So it is dark out here, and I don't expect you guys to see much right now, right? So right now, I don't. Obviously, I don't have the light shining on the plant. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna shine it at the eggplant and see what we can find out here. Now I've already seen. I've already spotted two. So I'm gonna just show you how well this light works. So all right. So got our UV light and check this out right here they just stick out like a sore thumb at night right now normally these things are like so hard to find and, and and honestly like this video isn't doing doing any justice to how effective this flashlight actually is so let's see there's there was one there and then there was also one right there right there if you can see it it's like these things you, you you've seen like the material on a on a on a glow in the dark shirt that's basically what they look like at night with this UV light and right now I'm just scanning real quick just to see if there's anything else That looked like it might have been something, but I don't know. No, that's it. And that really is it, guys. Like, it's not very difficult to find them once you have the UV light on. The, the, the hardest part is going to be actually getting, like, in the right position, right? Like, under the leaves or whatever. But aside from that, that's like... It's not very, very hard. Let's, see, let's let's look at another plant and see if we can find anything else. All right, guys. So I wasn't able to find any more on any other plant. So that's a good thing. That's definitely a good sign. Um, but just so you guys will understand, like how to spot when you have uh, hornworms hornworms present. Let's see if I can see if I'm getting it right. So you can see like these little droppings, these little um, pellets right here. That's actually horn meal I mean hornworm poop it's actually poop and you can find it on the leaves uh, you can find it on the on uh, like on a bell pepper, pepper on a bell pepper plant you can actually find it on um, the bell peppers it'll be sitting like right on top of the bell peppers there you go so you have them some there some there and you'll see this stuff all over your your plants all over the leaves and stuff You'll also see that your leaves will be eaten. They'll have, they'll have holes in them. Obviously, we know that when we grow this stuff, 
they don't they're not grown with holes in them right so that's another indicator and the last indicator can be what i'm about to show you in just a moment all right so here we are so this is a, a plant that we kind of just i kind of just let go because the the hornworm had eaten so many leaves but you see you see this branch like there's no leaves on this branch this a, a, a single hornworm came through and like devoured all of this this vegetation and I say single and it could have actually been more but I was only ever able to find only one and I got rid of it right so those things will decimate your tomatoes your peppers your eggplants and probably other many other vegetables too so you want to get them things off as quick as you can so you'll come out you'll come out today and your plant will look like this it'll be nice and bushy and full and then you'll come back the next day and it'll look like this it'll look like something just came through and plucked all the leaves off so you definitely want to get that thing out of your hair as soon as you possibly can okay guys so that's it that's all i have for you for tonight thank you guys for hanging with me for this brief video hopefully um if you have a hornworm problem right now hopefully that helps you to solve it i got the flashlight from lowe's it was like 15 bucks something like that and it's as you can see it's definitely worth it now the video doesn't give the full effect of how effective the flashlight actually is like as soon as you turn it on as soon as i turned it on i saw them flipping over the leaves they were just jumping out at me like a like a like iridescent right so that's that's wonderful because now i can go through i can come through at night every every night every couple of nights or whatever and um just start getting these things off the plant before the the thing is all gone so like i said if so hopefully you guys if you have a homeworm problem hopefully that helps you to solve it and if you don't hopefully that helps you to stay on top of it and maintain to make sure you don't get one because trust me you don't want one um but thank you guys for tuning in. Um, if you found value in this, if I helped you out in any way, please don't forget to, to give us, show us some love. Comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, um, and do us that favor. It's free, don't cost you nothing, right? And so we would appreciate if you guys did that for us, all right? So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, you guys take care. Happy gardening.